All right, folks, welcome to the biggest hangout for journalists in the country. And nobody can begrudge us that. Welcome to Journalist Hangout. I'm Citizen Jones. Today on the program, House of Reps drops plans to scrap NYSC, just as the General Gowon calls for trust fund to strengthen scheme. Okay, Governor El Rufai warns of looming food scarcity in Nigeria over insecurity. He has urged security agencies to form a synergy to end banditry and kidnapping. And later on, stakeholders advocate intelligence gathering modern equipment for security agencies just to secure Nigerian schools. I'm hanging out with Babajide Kolade Otitoju, BKO. I greet you. Good evening, citizen. And then, of course, um, uh, Martins Oloja has joined us. I greet you. You yeah, were supposed you. to be here last Friday. <laughs> Yo, traffic in Lagos. Yeah, but the traffic. Go to court. Yes, I will. Go to court. Yeah, definitely. All right. Uh, Sue the government. Sue the traffic Sue on the government. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the team is ready. I hope you are. All right, it's now official. The Green Chamber of the National Assembly a.k.a. the House of Representatives, has no further plan to scrap the 48-year-old compulsory one-year National Youth Service Corps, NYSC, for fresh graduates below the age of 30. Chairman of the House of Reps Committee on Youths, Honorable Yemi Adaramudu, I hope I got that right, admits that the NYSC is the most successful national program for fostering Nigeria's unity. Recall that National Assembly member Awaji Inombek Abiante of River State had mooted the contentious idea of scrapping the NYC a while ago. Meanwhile, former head of state retired General Gowon has called on the central government to strengthen the scheme with trust funds. Very well said. But first, let's hear from General. Let's hear him. I wish to assure you, Mr. Chairman, and members of the Directorate of the National Youth Service Corps, of the full support and cooperation of all the governments in the, the National Youth Service Corps was in established in 1973 by the Yakubu Gowon regime as one of the post Civil War rebuilding efforts of the federal military government. The aim of the scheme was to foster unity, friendship, cultural application, and development by posting fresh graduates of universities and polytechnics to states outside their home for a period of one year. The scheme is now in the eye of the storm following the rising insecurity in the country. The House of Representatives have started a process to scrap the scheme. To make Despite progress. this, the service and its founding fathers are not discouraged. Rather, they are calling for more funding for the scheme, which is a national integration mechanism, needed more at this time of several challenges confronting the nation. It is now time more than, uh, than ever before for the, authority, uh, for the authorities to seriously consider setting up a fund solely dedicated to financing the operations of the scheme. Just like there is no price for security, there is absolutely no price for unity, and NYSC defines unity of Nigeria. The unveiling of nine books and a film on NYSC is an opportunity to highlight some of the challenges in its 48 year of existence and the need to introduce the NYSC Trust Fund. If actualized, the proposed NYC Special Trust Fund will support adequate provision of infrastructure and other logistics for orientation and other activities on the scheme. It will also help to make scheme acquisition and technology development side program more functional and provide startup capital for core entrepreneurs. The book is indeed relevant. The chapter contributors have excavated about the contribution of the NYC to the education sector will go a long way in informing Nigerians about the relevance of this key. Presentations in dance and drama were some of the highlights of the events. The book and film chronicles the contribution of NYC to national unity and integration, as well as other critical areas of development. Helen Osamede E. Kings, TVC News, Abuja.
You know, GD, just seeing go on 48 years ago tells you um, the NYC was a child of circumstance. So ja that child has become a man. He should be a man of circumstance. Yeah, the, um, the NYC was a child of necessity. Mm. Uh, today, it has become a grown up man of necessity. Mm. Because the things that made us uh, to come up with the idea of NYC are still very much with us. Yeah. Very, very much with Talking us. Talking about national unity. National unity. We are so fragmented now as a people. We are not as united as we used to be. In the 80s and 90s, we were much more united than this. Talking about the June 12th election. That was the height of Nigerian unity. When... The people spoke as one, without thinking about religion. Oh yeah. Not thinking about Cla ethnicity. Clan or where, wherever. Abiola defeated Bashir okay. Tofa in the polling unit in front of his house at Gandu Albasa in Kano. Mm -hmm. That's correct. So, and I looked. Uh, and so to it, it, did, it didn't unity. matter also that both Tofa and Abiola were Muslims. It didn't matter. It didn't matter that Abi, to, uh, uh, Abiola and his deputy, De deputy were, were, also Muslims, Muslims. were Muslims. Mm. So uh, at the time, the people, the, the people were not thinking about religion. They just felt, okay, this is one country. This is the person who will do the, uh, the better job yeah. of steering our country to greater heights. And they voted for Abiola resoundingly. Resoundingly. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, they, they released the result of 14 states. No, no, 16 states. Mm. Abiola was in clear lead. The remaining 14 was just forgone. So, so they said, mm, enough is enough mm. at the time. But Martins, now we know better. NYC has become, he has said it, he has become a man of circumstance, of necessity. Let him stay. Complete his work. Yeah, definitely he's a man who should stay. It's even curious that some people should come together at this time to sponsor a bit to scrap <laughs> that kind of weapon of national unity. A man. Past to second, kill the second, man. Second reading. Second reading. Kill the man at, uh, <laughs> at, at puberty. At oh, puberty. Boy. And the, the circumstances uh, leading to the sponsoring of that bill, I think, should be should be looked at. And I, I, I think no matter the problem that we have... The, the, the microphone. The, the microphone, microphone should be open, open. Not, not closed. No, <laughs> it should be open. <laughs> and I, I think that, uh, seriously speaking, even uh, people, the elders of the land, stakeholders and others, no matter the problem that we have now, as I have been writing, as a person, as a citizen, as a journalist, that that is not what we need now. We need institutions that can strengthen national unity. And uh, as I've been saying uh, at various fora, that uh, it is not about just uh, division in the country. It's about strengthening institutions yeah. that will strengthen yeah. our unity as the most populous black nation on earth, mm. the most populous uh, African country. And Mandela said so. He didn't talk about South Africa or Nigeria. So anybody even sponsoring whatever led to sponsoring that kind of bill, it's not in the that, interest that, of this on, country. That, that's you on TV. Yes. It, it, it's not in the interest <laughs> of, of this country. And I believe that uh, that bill should not be revisited because National Youth Service Corps scheme is one of the greatest things that General oh, yeah. Gowan established oh, yeah. to strengthen our unity. Oh, yeah. No matter oh, yeah. the problems we have at this time, people who represent the people, mm. the parliamentarians, should not be seen at a time the, there is a crisis of cohesion in the country. Mm. Should be sponsoring that kind of bill. It's good that we are hearing that they have dropped that bill. Oh, they, because this uh, is, what, this is the choice? time we need every discussion, every every kind of reconciliation to ensure that we strengthen that and it is good for us that general yakubu gowan is alive oh yeah and well and, and well and, and well
to be able to suggest how to strengthen that institution. Yeah. And I believe that it is good for us that we are discussing that uh, people who sponsored the bill have dropped the idea they have seen oh, reason. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And uh, it's good to celebrate that kind uh, of uh, genioma. The, oh, come on. <laughs> um, uh, Jide, those of us who went to school, back to school after mm. the age of 30, mm. thought we missed something in the yes. NYC. Mm -hmm. So, so, but, but you can tell about your NYC days with candor. Yes, and um, you, I, you see, said I, see, I still have very fond memories of my time in Kaduna. Okay, you said in Kaduna. Yes, I, I was a teacher uh, at Kaduna Polytechnic, um, the College of Basic, uh, College of Admin and um, Basic uh, business, studies. business Studies also. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, admin and Business Studies, CAPS. CAPS. And um, I taught... Um, I taught students uh, in service students confidential secretary. They were in, okay, in service okay. <laughs> confidential okay. secretary. So I taught them. I also taught um, <coughs> uh, textile uh, technology H N D one. They were adults. Yes, those one. The confidential secretaries were they were workers. Okay. For them to get promoted, they needed to the go course. for a, a yeah. course. So okay. I, I was teaching them general studies at the time. I also taught textile technology HND1 students. Oh, wow. Yes. Wow. Those ones I taught them at the main campus, you know. But the bulk of my work was uh, on, uh, at CAPS. So the NYSC and I enjoyed is a plus. It is. It plus. is. You see, I was born in Zaria, but I was too young, too young to enjoy both Zaria and Mina, where my parents um, um, where, lived uh, okay. when I was very, very, very little. Um, immediately after the Civil War, my parents moved to to Mena. My dad was a teacher at uh, Niger Baptist College. The school has been renamed now in okay. Mena. Now, okay. but I was too young to, to, understand. to, to, feel, to feel both Zaria and Mena. I was too young. But as fate will have it, I was uh, sent to Kaduna for my youth service. And in fact, but my there first was no day... no attempt at changing no, no, whatever no. I My did. first day in Kaduna... I went straight to the Ranchers B Stadium to watch a match between Ranchers B and <laughs> Julius Baja of Lagos. Fun and on is. that day, on that day, Daniel Amonkachi, who was an SS2 the, the student, Daniel. yes, he, he was an SS2 student of government college, Rumi Mashi, took the ball from his own half, like, like Maradona dribbled. The, the Los Ma Baja players yeah. yes. and, and, <laughs> and dribbled the keeper. In mm. fact, uh, Wahab Adesino, the same one, the half. center half who, who played for Nigeria, was the last person that Amokachi uh, dribbled. That little boy at that time, but uh, heavily muscular, <laughs> and then he scored that goal. I said, wow. Kai, I'm going to enjoy this time. And when I watched that, <laughs> it was raining. While I was in the rain, I watched it. Yeah. And then the service here began afterwards, and I had the thoroughly meeting people from different parts oh, yeah. of the country. Oh, yeah. You oh, know, yeah. look at the north that I never thought, the far north that I never thought I would go to. Mm. After um, a few years working with Democrats, newspapers, you know, I got transferred to Kano. And to, to bring me back to Lagos was war. Oh. My mates had been promoted. They had become editors. I refused to leave Kano <laughs> until I was blackmailed. Some of the people, those who did not live in Kano during our time, in the 90s, mm. would never know what, what they, they missed. missed. Yeah, All of, the phone. Yeah. The phone. Mm. Because the only place close to Sabongeri in Kano yeah. is Obalende here in Lagos. Close to it, not it doesn't even match it. So if I had not gone on youth service, that experience, because 
the not the not prepared me thoroughly as a human being and as a journalist the you know, things it, that it, i know today it, i can tell you that it was because i went to that that part of the country to do you service it, 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 and then i settled down there briefly Gide, you know memory is very unkind to an old man yeah so when you look back but either is no, it, promote... it feels like rolling back the years. Yeah, 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 you know? yeah. I don't see that as being. A, you see, the, it feels like rolling back the years. Yeah, yeah, Nigeria was a there's better an place. element of unkindness there. You remember? Because, yes, that because <laughs> it now it has now eluded me. So I feel so, bad. Sorry, we are keeping. I Ida. feel bad. Ida is in Lagos. You provoked Ida. He's here. Good mo good evening to you, Ida. How are you? Yeah, uh, my brother. Good evening. Yeah, oh, no. let's go. Uh, and. Uh, Nobody I greet you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Uh, first of all, we must be honest. Uh, I served in the lorry in nineteen sixty nine. I was in a Jokuta team. No. Uh, uh, NYC is not what it used to be. The, mm. the truth must be told. Oh yeah. If you have a child today that graduates from university, mm. will you allow the child to be posted to Mongono in Borno State? <laughs> No, no. No, so no, no, I not. think that something must be done about that. Why instead of posting children, some children that school abroad will mm. come back to Nigeria, and you post them to post them to Southern Kaduna, and they will be no, killed. No, you know, no, 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 nobody, no, 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 nobody so, posts people to where they sir, will be killed. It, it, please, either, please. Either, I'm saying that either it's, 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 it's the opinion because it's becoming a food joke. Mm. The people just loiter about there's a high unemployment. Many of companies are not accepting. Either companies. you are going to something else. Either you, you you for instance you you served and it was you okay you, at you the enjoyed time. it. You, you don't want other people but, to serve. But but <laughs> the, the, this is taking us yeah. Martins to the second leg of the story. General Gowon has said make the scheme even more useful now than it was at the, yeah, at the beginning. That's, yeah. a, that's a message to the authorities in Nigeria. Mm. Now, definitely, as uh, the last uh, caller was saying, yeah, there are challenges. Oh, yeah. But I have been made to believe by the elders that if you have headache, mm. the cure for it is not cutting off of your head. Yes. Solve the security <laughs> problem. Yeah, definitely. Solve if the there security, are security problem. issues. If there are challenges as the world is growing oh, yeah. in the 21st century, address the problem yes but you know even as a writer recently i i talked about a story a wonderful story that can redefine mm. the essence of nyc that's one oh, yeah. uh, uh, comrade kayode de Pefo, who uh, from a place they call odiae somewhere in ondo state who grew up is, Actually, it, is, is it in the map yes it's in the we'll map we'll look for Odeaye, it but... it's very close to our end. Go on, we we'll look for it. in Okitibu, Paloku government of Ondo State. He's, he's drawing an Yeah, definitely. Map on. Actually, <laughs> when I started life as a teacher, yeah. thank God for this kind of opportunity, wow. I taught him English language and literature in English. I didn't yeah. tell the story when he was called to the... When he was conferred with okay. SAN recently. Wow. So the guy... He had been called to yes, the bar. the guy served in Taraba State. Ooh. After three years, he set up his own chamber. Brilliant guy from the University of Lagos. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a classic story of how to redefine and re whatever we want to do to what NYC. What is saying, put simply, it is possible yes. through the NYC. NYC. So let me, let me complete the story this way, that uh, this comrade, Kayode Idekwefo, served in Taraba State, where he met his wife, a wonderful woman uh. who hails from Benue State, in Taraba State. What, 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 what NYC has what, done for yes, what have to, to, to join together. <laughs> and then the guy is... Let, 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 let no man put no, hands no, no, on that. And then you know what happened? The guy is brilliant. Yeah. And so he did so many election petitions to the extent that even the, the, the principal mm. of the chambers where he served yeah. and Kaya Dei Dekwefo were conferred on... Uh, uh, with uh, this SAN the same day. Wow. So brilliant that he ma ma applied ma for the ma first ma time and he was ma ma with SAN because time, of S time because is of a master. Time if is he had remained in Southwest or his uh, own. No, no, you are, conjecture uh, you are conjecturing now. We are not no sure. Play, yeah, please, what please. What happened is that uh, Kyle Day, the paper will be great. Martin's story is very, very simple. Uh, yes. uh, uh, 
modify NYSC. I just use that one as a case study of mm. how to strengthen NYSC. I, I agree. It's a well, weapon of national unity that should not be disturbed. Okay. Um, and we are happy that uh, they, they have told us now that they have no plan to scrap it, that uh, anybody can come up with a bill. Yeah. Th that which is, is the like right. Saying, which is like saying talk is cheap. Yeah. Yes, talk is cheap. You can um, uh, uh, vision in your mind that you should scrap it, yeah. but yeah. you are just one person in that Jide, sometimes you are, you are wondering one why person. histrionics must come from politicians. Yeah, definitely. But it's, it's okay. We go to our next Yeah, story. definitely. Take you to Kaduna State. Um, Kaduna is in the news again, but not a happy one, away from what we were going to talk about. Jide, you have this story. Yes, um, you know, we had this morning that um, overnight mm. bandits stormed the New Bamali Polytechnic, the State Polytechnic of Kaduna State. Yeah. Fired at students, took some students and some staff away. Hostage. I know that place, that was where we did our NYC orientation. It's not. It's, it's not in the popular, bush. Popular no, it's by the roads. You are going to Zaria. It's not far from Zaria. Yeah. Mm. It's not far from Zaria. It's not. It's not up to three kilometers to Zaria town. Just before you climb that uh, overhead bridge, mm. that when you turn to the left, you are on your way to Kano. If you go under, you are going into the city of Zaria. Okay. It's not okay. far for God's sake. And then they will come, have all the time. Fire students take people away. Now, the latest from the school is that they've, uh, they've shut it down indefinitely. Mm -hmm. There is a, 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 a satanic plan by some people to not allow our children to go to school. And the question is, what do they want? They are the ones who know what they want. Because, I, frankly, why you are suddenly targeting school? I know that Kaduna is targeted because of some of the utterances of their government. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But they should know that it is the ordinary person that, that is suffering. Yeah. Go if you if you are not happy with what Erufai said about you, because Erufai said they, they have lost the right to live. Mm. You know? Mm. And the wife the wife said just yesterday, mm. look, do not repeat, do not fall for the tri uh, trick of paying ransom. So she knows what is she's talking no, about. No, the people will pay ransom. She's just eh, eh. saying what she likes. People will pay ransom. People sold their houses for the, uh, because yeah. the lives of their children is paramount. You can't watch the kind of uh, uh, pictures that we saw the other day where students were being flogged. Mm. If you had a child there, what you'll be thinking about is how to get that child out, out. quickly. Out of uh, you know. So now to, you can't you can't watch people being flogged. You have a child amongst them. You now fold your and say, "I will now pay ransom." Nobody does nobody, that. Nobody. nobody does that. All right. If our you don't hearts, pay, somebody will pay on your our behalf. Our hearts go to the students. I think this was avoidable. Okay then, let's go to the story proper from Kaduna State. Kaduna State Hemsman Governor Nasser Arafai has raised a frightening alarm over a possible food crisis in our country. The country played host to about seven directors of the state commands of the DSS from the north. You know, if farmers cannot feel, till the soil, I should say, for fear of bandits and kidnappers, then we are dealing with a dire situation. According to Governor Erufai, quote, as directors of the state commands of the DSS in the Northwest, you are well aware of the immense insecurity across the states in our region, end quote. We have a choice here, acting on the message. Yeah. Acting on that message. That is what a food and ag agricultural organization will call food insecurity. Mm. And that is the worst form of insecurity. Food scarcity. In, yes, food scarcity. That is food insecurity. And uh, the governor of Cardona State is drawing attention to a very frightening dimension. And I think we should take it very seriously. Let me give you an example. I hail from Ondo State. And not too long ago, I visited uh, my 
own village. Oh, yeah. And I was coming. It, it's uh, the mention yes, the name. I the name. Mentioned the name. Mentioned the map. Okay. And we got to a place everybody Why wouldn't you mention the name of your village? Well, yes, yes, yes. Your, your, if my, it's my village map. is, is Ajagba. Ajagba. Yes, in the local government area. As spelt. Really? Yes, as spelt. Ajagba. Okay. No, 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 no sorry. If, not very far away. It's no, about 30 minutes. I know why he was Jinde, reluctant. Jinde, Jinde, from, Jinde I know Jinde. why he was reluctant to mention his name of the village. <laughs> because <laughs> when you see, when you go to his village, you look to your right, you look to your left, left. you've seen it all. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's why he didn't want to mention his name. You know, you know but it's in uh, Google Map. Okay. No, about 30 minutes drive from Ore. Okay, okay. That's Ore. Where are they? Yeah, yeah, they you, are, you are building up something. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Ore, everybody knows it's a very good uh, 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 terminals. So when I got there, for so many years, since I grew up to be an adult, conscious of public affairs and everything, when you get to Ore, you want to buy anything you would like to oh, buy. Yeah. Yeah. Want to buy uh, on ripe name, name, name it, banana, name it. Mm -hmm. granola, uh, uh, pepper fruit. You want to buy anything. But these day, not about two months ago, I wanted to buy on ripe plantain. I couldn't find. I wanted to buy barley. I couldn't find. I wanted to buy uh, uh, banana. Uh, okay. Very few, and then it no to the, Yeah, no luck. I said, what happened? So I just saw the women. They were running after one Okada rider who was carrying a ripe uh, plantain. Hey, 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 hey. I said, what happened? He said, it's cast hair. I said, what mm. happened? They couldn't find again. I was coming from Akure, really, before going to my village. And from Akure through Ondo to Ore. When you leave Akure, you part to Ondo Town. Mm. Ondo Town, mm. where they have Adeyemi College of Education, the yeah. first college of education in Nigeria. You, before getting you, you to Ore. You had to rub that in. Yeah, no, no, you know, it's no, no, the first. Go on, go on. So, but I couldn't get so many of those things like that and uh, on ripe plantain. Uh, because uh, banana, people are, are things, not because of scattered because people are not are no on their farms. Osak be more local. Yeah. No farmers in the farm anymore. Wow. People don't feel for secure. Fear. For fear. I'm talking about the essence of what the governor is saying. And, uh, that it, it, we it, should be prepared for food crisis. Because we, of these things that you know Dide and others have been discussing these things here. Oh yeah. No the we depend where people can talk about oh let us divide Nigeria, let us do this. Thing. There are so many things that unite us, mm. so many things that strengthen us. Even in Lagos here, if there is like, a problem, uh, there's a problem. Martins will and not, I believe that we uh, should what the government you, you, is saying. You you and Jide will must know that Aquaibom is now home to onions. So we would need onions. We need onions. All right. Let's go no, on this break. No, no, no. Let, let, let's go on the yeah. break. Let's go on the break. We'll be back with this same story. Please don't go. Don't tune up just yet. All right. Welcome back. Jide, um, a food crisis is what the Yorubas will call inyo. In my place, we call it akang. Akang, mm, A-K-A-N-G. Akan, mm. So, so th there's Wahala coming. Okay. It's different from Akan. Because Akan is a popular <laughs> Akan name. Akan is a name. A popular name. In your Akan area. is... Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so, you, you yeah. see, who feels it knows it all. Yeah. One of the earliest songs that Bob Marley sang, who feels it knows, knows it, it all. all. Yeah. Mm. This governor is presiding over one of the most insecure states in Nigeria. Oh, without a shadow of a doubt. And he knows it. He knows it. In a Gabi local government, Gabi local government in Kaduna, farmers can't go to their farms. Oh. Mm. It's, it's, it's beginning to rain now. It's raining. Okay. This is a time when northerners, God has blessed the north with fertile soil. They may not have uh, the same volume of rainfall as you have in the in, south, in, the south, in yeah. Delta, you know, yeah. all of those. But the land is extremely fertile. I, I hear it's the home of uh, ginger. Uh, that is uh, going towards, uh, uh, what is it called? Um, Kaduna South, okay. uh, Southern Kaduna, uh, yeah. uh, those okay. areas, they, are, they have ginger in abundance. They have it. So, the governor knows that people can't go to their farms. Hmm. And 
The implication of that is things will become extremely expensive. How did we get to, the sit to the, a situation in which we found ourselves buying a bag of beans for 72,000 naira? Beans that's produced yes, here? Yes, the best, the best of them, which is from Bono State, is 72,000 naira now. Hmm. But uh, uh, that's two, by two weeks ago, 72,000, no one knows it could have gone up again. Because things, I mean, prices of Don't talk goods. less of fish. Now, what bandits are doing in many communities of the north is that they tell you, see, we are prepared to not kill you. We are prepared to stop these constant raids, but you must pay us. In, to stay alive. You must pay us if you want to stay alive. If you don't mm. want us to attack you, if mm. you want to access your farms. Ah. Oh, if you want to access your farms. So you will find that communities in Kasina, communities in Zamfara, they are already used to that. So mm. they allow the people, they pay, they pay the bandits, they believe that that's better for them. They can access their them. farms than not to be sure that even your life won't be taken. But in places like Niger and Kebi, they had never been used to that. So they are resisting the bandits. And that's why you had what happened in Kebi, where they mm. killed 88 oh, persons yeah. in one day. Oh, yeah. 88. That's in the Zulu uh, mm. Sakaba area. Because for some time they were resisting those guys. They armed themselves. They confronted the bandits. The bandits now reinforced from Zamfara hmm. came in full force with maximum violence and then killed 88 in one day hmm. as a means of sending a message to them that, look, huh. if you remain headstrong, if you remain pig-headed, we will continue to kill you. That's the message. And unfortunately, no one is helping our people. We appear to be powerless. I said that the best way to deal with this situation is for all the Northwest governors. Let me even say, including Niger. After all, they were part of one state before. Oh, yeah. Niger, Sokoto, Zamfara. That's it. They used to be part of the old... Northwest. Yes, West, Northwestern yeah. state. Mm -hmm. I still see... Because from Kaduna, you can walk straight... In, from Brinigari, you walk straight into Rafi local government in Niger. So it, it still feels like they are part of the same oh, state. Yeah. The, in Kasina, there are six local government in Kasina that share border with Zamfara. So bandits mm -hmm. moving from one state into another, where a governor even does uh, amnesty. Mm -hmm. And the other governor of the second state did not think that it was necessary to do it. You will find that bandits from the other side will come in. So it's a waste of time. Mm -hmm. Now, are we simply going to re re I mean, in raise our hands and surrender, sweet, sweet surrender to these guys to say, okay, since our government has, uh, has uh, become incapable of protecting us and stopping us from dying like rats, therefore, Monsieur mm -hmm. Bandit, please, oh boy, take money, don't Let attack our communities. That's what they've mm -hmm. lost hope in government. You can imagine in Casino State, sometimes, sometimes, it is the Nigerian gendarmes that come in to save our people from bandits. Hmm. Uh, people, there was an interview with, with, with Voice of America. Nigerians spoke to Voice of America. They said, we call Nigerian gendarmes sometimes to come and save us. It's so bad now that businessmen in Casino they walk, once it's 6 p.m., they are moving into Niger to go and sleep. So oh, they boy. are bought houses in Niger Republic. I'm yeah. not exaggerating. Come on, yeah. Come on. It's published. Come on. Yes, on. they go there to go and sleep. They can't, mm. they can't sleep in their own country. Bandits will come in around 2 a.m. They say like a thief in the night. Of course, they are thieves. Oh, yeah. So oh, yeah. they come around 2 a.m. and then set people's houses ablaze. IDPs, the number of IDPs in our country is... Uh, it's ballooning. Yeah, yeah. With yeah. every day, every day they yeah. kill people in Benway State as if oh, Benway I, is designed for people okay, to come die. Come on, come on, come on. IDP, that, more and more IDPs the, are the, being the, created. The idea is not to raise passion. Ma Martins, but you see, 
Wahala they come. This is not about dreaming of seven years of plenty, seven years yeah. of uh, this. It is looking at us. It is, it is, it is looking at us. And, and, and so the governors had created the impression that they are more powerful than the center. This is the time. No, it, it is it's, uh, left for whatever we are discussing. Did they, is did a they message. say they are yes. more powerful than the center? Oh, but they say it. No, no, no. They, they, ma, 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 no, 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 no. The attitude they, is they not. They haven't said it. I'm, I'm saying. Uh, Gide, mm. if banditry must stop this moment, yes. do you know it will stop? At well, the stage it is now, nobody can decree for it to stop the, this the time. It has gone question. past that stage. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> the, if, if there's a synergy, you know, Jones, you know, yeah. the answer to that question is still blowing in the wind. It's not blowing in the wind. You know Come what on. happened is that uh, <laughs> this thing is now complicated. Complicated to the extent that uh, even the, the, the president of Nigeria was speaking yesterday. People have been analyzing, people have been doing all sorts of things like answer to all these things will not come in a day. Mm. It requires some planning, it requires some renewing of our mind, it mm. requires uh, issues in federalism that we want to introspection process. and, and all let that. me give you a corollary that will be useful in this discussion. In addition to the scarcity of uh, commodities, pro food, products and what yeah. have you. There was a discussion I participated in recently, and we raised the issue of even checkpoints, security checkpoints that National Security Advisor drew attention to recently that they should scrap them. When all these cast foods, when they are bringing them from either the north to the south mm. or south to the north, they face security checkpoints. Again, from when you are coming from either North Central Benue State, where they yeah, have uh, yeah. fruits or fruits, so many things, fruits. or any Name part them. of the North. Yeah, yeah. When they are coming from, say, the South, South through Benin and other states, in on those state area, this uh, axis that I'm talking about, on the Ogun State axis, that was the time I counted 29 checkpoints where security agents in this country extort these people carrying goods, food items. Yeah. This also result in high food prices. Because when you collect money from all these drivers conveying all these foodstuffs. That's what they call snowball effect. It has to, but no, well, I, it's not I, prices I, we are talking about. No, no, no. It's <laughs> just a part of it. It's not about the no, corollary. No, you know. That thing, checkpoints, even when I was in the north in the 90s, checkpoints had always been there. But the way they collect the money from them now. They, no, they were still collecting money. Now, the threat is that people can't, even, even that food that they are bringing down south, yes. mm. they are saying that that food is at the risk of not being produced because they are targeting our food production belts. Definitely. That is the you, thing. You, you know? That's a lot to watch so, than so, what so, the so, NSA so, like A person like uh, Onu Falaye in Ondo State, yeah. who retired as secretary to the government, and a former finance uh, uh, minister. I know he's was a farmer managing, well. yeah, it, well, a farmer. He was kidnapped. On his he farm. had to pay mm -hmm. in Ondo State here, not to talk of so uh, many people in the north who ma, ma, not Mato, le, le me, le me le, let me thank abdul in zaria for waiting okay thank you now let's go sir welcome good evening good abdul evening. Mm. Good evening, i greet you yeah. sir good evening sir yeah zaria good evening yes yeah, good zaria evening, evening, I'm... <laughs> Tenu, <sir. laughs> Tenu, wouldn't be kwanana I... today <laughs> so um i'm really happy with the topic ongoing because uh, looking at the situation uh, is very pathetic because this is not where we're supposed to be. Yes. After, uh, tomorrow is Democracy Day. Mm. This is not where we're supposed to be. And uh, the situation is becoming like entering into the town of uh, urban centers, especially here in Zaria. Yes. So we hope you know that school uh, now. You know it's, it's very close to Zaria yes, town. Yes, yes, huh? yes. I, I'm a graduate of the school you see? about six years ago. Oh. That's where I did my HND before I went for that for my master's. So I am a graduate of the school, and oh, uh, I, it was not like this. But the only thing I noticed being a graduate of the school is that the school is porous. Uh, okay, security okay. wise, porous. Yes, yes, back. Porous. What I mean is, in, even in the main campus and other branch campuses, there are about two campuses here in the area. Mm. Inside the uh, the school. Some place like uh, Goborawa is inside, and uh, they are all sharing with other villages mm. inside the school. It's very poor. 
And uh, since this kidnapping has started, we have even thought that the government will have do something to try to, um, you know, try to work mm -hmm. on the structures so that mm -hmm. the, there will be a much uh, a security demarcation between the town yeah. and the school. Yeah. Inside the schools of forest, inside campuses, and even inside the school, there is still the, uh, what they call it, the host, uh, there are some, um, what they call it, uh, buildings built by some private individuals, which students are also resident inside the school. Yeah. So this yeah. is a very uh, situation that uh, I call the attention of the, uh, the state government using this platform to look at the uh, the buildings inside the school and uh, try okay, to okay. Up to that, that work on security. Uh, you know, our next story is uh, related to that. Uh, just stick around for that. Mm. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, we must go. We must go. Um, a word is enough for the wise. Yes. Cardona Governor says a food crisis is coming. It's not just second guessing that. Okay, to our next story. The last one. You know, the rising insecurity around schools in the country is not just causing parents and guardians sl sleepless nights, but creating agonizing moments for members of the security bodies. New school safety initiatives have been advocated by leaders of thought, policymakers, civil society ad activists, and others have collectively called for a collaborative effort aimed at tackling insecurity at schools around the country head on. As far as they are concerned, inclusive solutions like intelligence gathering, community collaboration, and modern gadgetry is the way to go. The stakeholders at the crucial meeting included Babajide Kolade Otitoju, uh, sitting next to me. But let's share the report by TVC News' Sharon Ijasa, and then we will go on from there. Recently, a virtual meeting by various stakeholders took place to discuss the need for safety in schools across Nigeria. We need to now start to think differently and do differently. At a virtual meeting, which was put together by the IA Foundation in collaboration with Allergen Group, the burning issue of security around schools was brought to the fore. Our security agencies are also working hard to deploy tactics that would rapidly respond to the abductions as best practices in countries that have experienced similar challenges are also being embraced where feasible. I look forward to the outcomes of this dialogue, which we hope would enhance the existing options and proffer meaningful solutions to, apply, to be applied as a means of permanently bringing to an end the distressing disruptions in our learning environments. The government must understand that they have the constitutionally uh, a right to ensure that they protect every Nigerian citizen, particularly the ones that are children. And I think it's critical that this is on the front burner. That's why I'm excited that this webinar has been done. But I'll just speak quickly. One thing that struck me, particularly with the Greenfield University one, was that 180 million was exchanged. And I'm saying to myself, if government pays attention to do what they're supposed to do, the money they're spending on ransom should be sent spent to secure the schools. Babajide Kolade Otitoju, AIDS journalist and TVC News Group controller of current and public affairs, urged the federal government to improve on intelligence gathering while state governments should have school relocation model. I will get the president to do something drastic about our capacity for intelligence gathering. That was key to the success of the operation in Gombe that I talked about earlier. It is very, very important because we will be able to stay ahead of the bandits before they strike. Bandits plan these actions. They don't just wake up and storm a school. Yeah. But if we are able to get to know about their plans. Because in Gombe, they came the next day and found that there was no student left in that school. Yeah. This is a fact. So intelligence gathering, we are not doing well in that area. And that is why attacks keep coming and we are only able to uh, do our best repelling attacks. Sometimes we do not even succeed in repelling attacks. So the president has to do something about that. If he needs to change the people in charge of that, of course he ought to have KPI for his staff. If he needs to uh, change the people in charge of that, then he has to do it. Security experts reiterate the need for intelligence gathering, better tools, improved training, and action plan by government. We can help 
we can bring all of our experience that we've learned and researched from federal law enforcement experience. I've got people from the FBI and the Secret Service that are retired and are part of this organization with me. They've been part of the Joint Terrorism Task Force. They've led counterterrorism trainings and efforts. We've got violence prevention research. We have all these things, this knowledge that we can help share with you to build these same type of networks and programs in your country for your benefit as well. It was concluded at the virtual meeting that technology must be deployed and infrastructure improved for the armed forces to ensure that schools in Nigeria are secure. Many thanks, Sharon. Jide, you, you were there. Yes. Uh, paint a bigger picture for you know, my humble self. And, uh, I, will, I will recall something that happened in Gombe around 2014. It will not have been Chibok alone that Boko Haram successfully kidnaps Kuges. Mm. But the commander of the Nigerian Army base in Gombe at that time, um, one Colonel Feyi, mm. got intelligence. Because Boko Haram had attacked Ashaka. You know there was a cement company there. Oh, yeah. They attacked oh, yeah. Ashaka and stole some dynamites and all that. So he got information that they were coming to that so a school. school. A school is uh, called Talala also. One guest school. Guest boarding secondary school. Uh, and so, so you are wondering why girls? I wouldn't know it, why they it, chose it, Chibok. Uh, uh, maybe it, it could be easier for them to manage uh, the women. Yes, when they are taking them, you know, because okay. they will terrify okay. them. That the boys okay. could confront them, could okay. fight, fight them. As we saw even in, uh, in um, Kagara. So, he now got in touch with this, uh, the state government. The operation began around 11, 11 at night. By 5 a.m., the entire school had been evacuated. He used luxury buses, you know, and Fair, other, they, they safe, took to everybody safety. to safety in the state capital. Wow. Maybe if we had done that in the case of Chibok, yeah. that would not have happened. Maybe. Yes. I still insist that we shouldn't have had, Wahed shouldn't have allowed examination to hold in Chibok at that time. Mm. That mistake that was made back then, they no longer make that mistake in Bono State as we speak. There's a unity school in Monguno. The unity school has been relocated to the Bono State capital. They are now using the Mamadou Buhari Academy as their school. So that's why I said, see, where you can see clearly that this school is in a remote location, mm. it's better to relocate them. And I'm happy that uh, Miriam Ways, the presidential uh, aide, also talked about that, yeah. that they are making moves now to relocate some schools to safer areas. People could say, no, those are not the permanent measures. But I'm saying that intelligence gathering will help us stay ahead of these bad people. Oh, yeah. Because oh, yeah. if we had not received that intelligence, if Colonel Feyi had not received that intelligence, maybe Something those else. girls too will still be in captivity as we speak. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know? So you can imagine. Now we have then, I've also been told that for a uh, for a state government to buy even drones, these are manned area vehicles mm. that you can use to scan the en your entire state and identify locations of bad people, you have to get the permission of the National Security Advisor. Or some state wanted to buy, they are held back. So mm -hmm. uh, for how much longer are we going to do this kind no of thing? You no. can't, people say, oh, those state governors, they are collecting security votes. Yes, they can't they, uh, they, 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 they can protect their state. It's, it's not just with money that you protect oh, yeah. people. Oh, oh, yeah. you, you must have the right strategy. You must have the tools. And I'm saying today, the people in government who are watching me, they should put on their thinking caps. Nigerians are dying. Our schools are being raided. Let states have security outfits, and they should be well armed. Oh yeah! I can tell you for free that if Amotekun had sophisticated weapons like AK-47 or AK-49, the idiots who came to Igogon the other day yeah. to kill people, they would not have succeeded oh, yeah. because oh, yeah. they would know that ah, the enemy has the kind of weapons that I have. So they too will 
they, 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 they will uh, hold back. Okay. But yeah. you want Amotekun to go with dang guns uh -huh. to face people who, who sometimes use GPMG uh -huh. and AK-47 <laughs> and AK-49. It cannot yeah. work. Martins, because we, we think, say, yeah. Amotekun will use dang guns, we get <laughs> uh, honeybee attached to them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, go on. Yeah, definitely, you, you know, uh, the, the conclusion of the whole matter, and which should be underlined, is what Jide said now. You know, this is not uh, 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 a tea party. I attended a meeting recently where the, the Director General of uh, uh, the Department of State Services, they were called DSS, mm. revealed that most of the crises we are reporting, that they normally give early warning signals to state chief executives. Some of the state chief executives will just ignore them. He uh, proved how mm -hmm. they gave warning signals. They said, look, two weeks that they will attack this, whether in Niger State, in most of the states of the Federation. I attended so, the so you are expecting this one not to be another talk shop? Another talk shop. That the, the state executives should be proactive. And what he said, that the president, all the, the one in the, 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 the kind of suggestion they attacked, Mr. President, Take advantage of what the governors are saying that we do not have authority over state commissioners of police. Mm -hmm. Let us have state police. Let us practice this federalism. It's not a political affair. It's a doctrine of necessity at this moment oh, that yeah. you should allow the state chief executives, if they have early warning signals from Directorate of uh, State Intelligence that this is what is going to happen, do they have troops? We have less than 400,000 police officers. Look at the number covering VIPs. Look hmm. at the numbers. Uh, in the, uh, uh, all 774 local governments. Minus one. States, minus one. Minus one now. <laughs> Maybe 773 Three. local governments. 371,000 police Men operatives. And officers. How are they going to cover that? These uh. are questions that the state actors, a, people a, who have authority over... Martins, Martins That's why is. I said uh, it, it yeah. can no longer work. He can't it, it, work. You know, Martins. The Jide, central this, police this can is, work. This is why. Central police can work. This is why sixty minutes. And state authorities should know that. This is why sixty minutes mm. on the hangout will not be enough to we'll cover it. Will not be enough. Yeah, we'll continue on Sunday. They say. They say. Jide and Martins. They say. I'm told yes. that news is like a lady's skirt. Yes. Short enough to attract attention. And long enough to cover the, the uh, subject. The essential. <laughs> so we have done our job. Abby. We have done our job. It depends on how short it is. I beg. See, do, people, do don't, <laughs> people, people should know that there are usually exceptions uh, to yes. every rule. Yeah. Mm. We talk about uh, uh, something being short. There are some that are extremely short. But essential. That you actually see the content. I see the content. Uh, but uh, it's, all right. now, it's all right. It's all right. Our job authorities to take is notes. to lay it upon. Central police our business. can no longer work. Yes. Martins, our business here is to lay it on the thinkers, mm -hmm. movers, and shakers. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we have done our job. Thank you, Jude, for your for your time. Thank you so much. And uh, we, we expect that was not a talk shop you attended. Mm -hmm. Something is going to come out of it. I hope so. so. Yeah. Come out of with it. with uh, Miriam always there, yeah. I'm sure she will take um, a lot of what oh. we said on board. Oh, yes. will, mm. However, Martins, thank you very kindly. You're welcome. And I want to go to your village and buy, is it on right the, plantain? On right plantain. <laughs> okay. <laughs> on behalf of the backroom boys here, we want to say thank you for your time. Our job is done, but not before inviting you to join us on Sunday for a two-hour bumper edition beginning from 1.30. And of course, we're on YouTube at youtube.com TVC News slash TVC News uh, Nigeria. I'm Citizen Jones. Bye-bye now. Take care of yourself.